today's gospel, Jesus encourages fraternal correction. I always tell people that it's easy for me to accept correction from someone who respects me, who loves me, who knows me. And actually, I'm really grateful for the few people that have done that in my life. If someone doesn't know me that well and corrects me, it's a little harder. Because what they're reading or what they're perceiving may not be true. But usually a friend is going to call me out on truth. <laughs> and when it's done with love, when it's done with kindness, I think it's a tremendous act of charity for that other person receiving it. You know, too often we're too careful, too respectful. If someone drinks too much, if someone's being unfaithful, if someone has an issue with their language, or maybe they don't realize it, but they have a little lack of self-mastery that can be kind of rude or they're reactive. To look that person in the eye and, and gently say, you know, I've noticed this. I've been watching you the last couple of months, couple of years. For your own good, you might want to take this to heart. People have blind spots. I think the goal should be to help each one of us reach our fulfillment as Christians, to become more like Christ. It's not just to you know, correct a behavior that bothers me. I want this person to stop bothering me, so I'm going to correct him. No, that can't be your motivation. I want to help this person reach their freedom of spirit, their inner joy that's going to come from not being a slave to their passions. That's going to really allow them to glorify God. Amen. God bless you.